Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to look at how you can make sure that the pattern that you've made is where you want it to be inside your object. Now I made this video because I've had a number of questions lately with people concerned that their patterns, once they've made them, just don't go where they expect them to be. Sometimes they've seen that mine go in the right place and they don't know why theirs don't. Well, here is a document that I've created with a simple pattern on it. Now, I've created a no fill, no stroke rectangle the size of the pattern piece, so it's behind everything. I selected it and dropped it over here into Swatches panel. And now I've created a 800 by 800 pixel rectangle here and just clicked to fill it with my pattern. So we're just going to see that there's no magic to this. I just clicked to fill it with my pattern. And my pattern has appeared inside this shape according to some rules which Illustrator sets. And Illustrator has its own set of rules and we just live in Illustrator's world. So you can't really easily make sure that your pattern's going to be designed so it's going to end up exactly where you want it inside a shape. And it's really not worth spending the time trying to do that because there are tools that you can use to align the pattern inside the shape. And so I think that's what's important that we look at now. So I'm going to select this rectangle that has the pattern in it. I'm going to choose Object and then Transform and then Move. Now because I did a move a few minutes ago, this move dialog already has some values in it. So I'm just going to zero it out. And of course we don't want to transform this rectangle. We don't want to move it, but we do want to move the pattern. So I'm going to disable transform objects, enable transform patterns. And now all I need to do is to push my pattern where I want it to be. And I'm thinking I would like this dot up in this corner. And so we're going to have to start moving things. We need to go in a negative horizontal direction so I can get that circle pretty much where it's going to be over the edge of the artboard here. And then I'm going to have to move it up and that's another vertical movement. And so I'm just going to eyeball this and just make sure that I get my circles in pretty much the spot that I want them to be. And if I'm happy with that, I'll just click OK. So it's not so much about how you design your pattern. It's got more to do with moving the pattern inside the piece before you actually finish up your work. So I hope that helps anybody who is confused as to why their patterns don't ever appear exactly where they want them to be. Well, the control is all yours. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, click to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And until next time, my name is Helen Bradley, and thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.